what's going on everyone if you're what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel my name is akeem haynes i'm a two-time olympian olympic bronze medalist author motivational speaker and sports commentator on my channel we talk boxing mma track and field and of course motivation and encouraging content if this is something that you enjoy then i hope that you subscribe to the channel now let's get into the video jahai tucker versus nikola sec via nashili try say that 10 times fast right but this is a fight that i'm very interested in because this is going to tell us a lot about both men right mainly jahai tucker since he is the prospect a lot of people are high on and there's no doubt that he's a good young talent let's get into it let's start with jahai I've covered him tucker once i've covered him a few times on the channel already but no nine wins no losses five wins by way of knockout when you sign with a big promotional company like top rank you get to watch him mature in the ring and i feel like that's what we've seen of jahai tucker so far he's got an awkward style to him man and and he's not your typical high guard come forward style of fighter he's fluid and rhythmic and there's a cadence and a flow to his style of fighting you can see he is a offensive first type of guy quick reflexes good accurate punches good footwork moves well in the ring good awareness in the ring mixes attacks well and doesn't neglect the body good counter puncher He's all in all, he is developing in the right areas very well. He's not a knockout power puncher, but he packs more of a pop than he looks. He's not a big guy, not an imposing figure, but he's quick and explosive and uses his reach well. And I think that's what he is going to need to rely on in this fight, that speed and that quickness and that footwork to keep this fight at a distance. Now, defensively, when he is focused, he's good. But when he gets, say, tired or a little bit overconfident, Man, that left hand drops, right? He's gotten caught with an overhand right a couple times in his fights. And if he can get that left hand up, though, a little bit more, even from an offensive standpoint, when he shoots his jab, he'll be able to hit at a greater success rate. Now, he's been able to get away with that so far, but as the competition continues to ramp up and maybe the guys are a bigger puncher like Sek Vianashili, it, it, it could cause some problems if he is not disciplined in that department. Now, when his last fight against Jose Sanchez, that was a very impressive performance and kind of a one-sided win for Jahai Tucker, but a fight where you could see him using his legs, right? Pick the right spots, mixed up his attacks, use his jab efficiently, and he was calm and composed, confident, never really seemed like he was ever in danger, just looked like he was in control from start to finish. He didn't fight down to his opponents. I've seen some fights before where he could have got the guy out of there, but he was playing around a little bit, and it, he just wasn't all the way locked in and kind of fought down to his opponents, but that wasn't the case in the last fight. He won that fight convincingly, and credit to Sanchez for it never giving up and continuing to try to get back into the fight, but that was a fight where he just could not keep up with Jahai Tucker. Jahai was just too much in that fight. His speed as I said, is one of his strengths. And he can catch you with shots if you aren't ready, right? He's that quick. In his last few fights, he's shown something different in each of them, I feel like. He can hurt you, right? You don't take the physical frame for granted. He put Eric Rodriguez down with a body shot, beautifully timed body shot that dropped him and he won that fight. He dropped Akeem Black twice before he stopped him in that fight. He overwhelmed DeAndre Smith in under five rounds. So this is going to be a very good test because Sekasha Vanilli is big and he's strong and man, he's got some power. So let's talk about him. Nicola Sekasha Vanilli. Eight wins, one loss, six wins by way of knockout. This is the first time that I'm personally hearing about him, but from what I understand, after doing some research, he trains alongside Xander Zayas. He turned pro in 2018. His first four to five fights were against guys with losing records, right? That's part of the development process. You want to put your guys in there, build them up a little bit so they get the rounds in, right? Then he fought Isaiah Jones in 2020. His first real test and the man didn't disappoint. Man, he walked Jones down, imposed his will and his size and his power. And he's a guy that likes to fight on the inside. He's a heavy-handed fighter, right? Even his jabs have a little thud to him. And 
Those things started to wore Jones down. Even though Jones lasted the full fight, you could tell he was hesitant because he didn't want to get clipped by Sekasha Benili, right? He just, oh, he was overmatched in that fight. Now, Sekasha Benili, he's got skill as well too, right? He might seem like a seek and destroy bully type of guy, but man, he can move. There's, there's, there's more to him, right? He can move. He can set up his shots. He's a guy that you have to be cautious with because also, again, he's got the power. If he connects with a shot it, on the right spot, it could be lights out, right? Now, I couldn't find tape of him of the fight that he lost, but after looking at the scorecards, it seemed like it was a pretty close fight and seemed like it was a fight that could have went either way, but Nonetheless, it was a close fight that he lost, but in his most recent fight, which is what we have to judge him off of and base him looking like coming into this one, when he fought David Rodriguez, man, he looked very good to me, right? Looked like he was much more tactical in his approach, using his jab to set up his shots better. He stalked Rodriguez and put on a beating on him. I mean, that fight was stopped because Rodriguez's eyes was essentially swollen shut. Sekasa Vanilli was throwing jabs and coming forward and he was screaming in the ring. But that scream of like excitement and that, yo, I'm here, like fight me right here type of mentality. So it just kind of showed me that he's a guy that gets stronger as the fight goes on and seems to enjoy that brawling, grueling trade for trade engagement, right? This is a, this is a guy who likes to fight. He's got a chin on him as well, too. And in the fights that I've seen, yeah, he's taken some shots to the chin cleanly, but it wasn't enough to really discourage him where he was fighting off the back foot or being discouraged from coming forward. I, I, I haven't really seen him being pushed back in the fights that I've seen. It seems like he's always going to come in pursuit. So it's going to be interesting to see how both of these two handle each other's style inside of the ring. So who wins? This is a matchup where you could possibly see an upset, if we're being honest, right? We know how talented Tucker is, but I don't believe he's faced a guy with the power like Sekasha Vanilli, right? One shot could change the whole outcome of the fight. So I think... Jahai Tucker, I don't want to see him engage too much in a brawl type of fight, right? There are going to be times when he's going to have to stand there and trade his shots, but I don't want to see him be stagnant in the center. I want to see him slip and move and use his footwork and his speed and stay off the rope and use those things to his advantage. Now, Sekasha Vanilli, you know, he's a guy that he can box a little bit too. He just hasn't had, he just hadn't had to show it because his strength and power has been the thing that has helped him gotten the win. So, but I do think keeping up with Tucker's speed could cause some troubles and problems for him and maybe even frustrate him a little bit as well. But this isn't a fight where I think Jahai Tucker can come in undisciplined or, you know, it might be a short night for him because again, one of those shots connect, man, it could be lights out. So it's going to be a good fight for me. I'm going to take Jahai Tucker to win this fight by decision. I think he's going to need to be careful. He's going to need to come in ready to box from the jump because Sekhasha Vanilli is going to be present. He's going to come forward and he's going to be in Tucker's face, I believe, every single round. I think it's going to be a good fight. I think it's going to be a close fight. But I think Jahai Tucker is going to be able to use his speed, his footwork, and his skills to be much sharper than Sekasha Vanilli, in my opinion. So what are your thoughts on this fight? Who do you have winning? Let me know in the comments section below. If you would like to support the channel, there's a couple ways you can do so. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support by way of donation, you can find options in the description below. Also, my Cash App handle will be on screen as well. Any amount goes towards the growth of this channel and will be greatly, greatly appreciated. So with all that being said, if you've been watching the video this on, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely see you next time.